Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over how I am currently trading Bitcoin and exactly what's on the screen right now. <laughs> so I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one and yeah, let's get straight into it because look how exciting and amazing this move is right now. Uh, yeah, amazing. So, um, you know, as you know from yesterday's video, uh, which I updated you on, I was in that short position on Bitcoin, uh, but you know, definitely remaining bullish and, you know, looking for the longs and just waiting for that opportunity to, to take that long because I was you know, remaining bullish on this chart and that opportunity was very nicely given to me. Um, so what we can see, so this is like a reaccumulation range, okay? So obviously you have your buying climax, your secondary test, you know, you're the, the resistance of the creek here and a few shakeouts at the lows and the shakeouts at the lows was what made me decide to, you know, reaccumulate at the lows here. Uh, so if you would like to pause the screen and read some of this, <laughs> uh, very nice indeed. But um, yeah, what, what we actually have here is uh, like a resistance of the creek. And this is just like a, res a wavy resistance trend line, so to speak. OK, so you can tell the importance of, you know, really seven, eight thousand seven hundred and fifty. That was the resistance to break. And obviously I was posting this on Twitter also yesterday that, you know, in that long position, you know, really you need to try and break the creek. But I'm already accumulating at the lows here. OK from accumulating at those lows we can say that's worked very nice indeed because we are now find ourselves at you know 8950 okay so what do you want to be aware of now okay all well and good we've traded this good so far but you know to remain in profits how are we going to trade this like what i'm looking for now is there's a few key resistances obviously 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 9000 psychological is holding you down right now okay and you know this could potentially be a top and we just head down from here you know, why could that be? You know, firstly, you do have to uh, acknowledge that we had a rise in price, obviously, here breaking the top, and that did come with a decrease in open interest. So, you saw a decrease in open interest, you saw lots of liquidations, uh, you also saw the volume is not as high as taking the previous high, um, you know, a bit of bearish divergences. So, this is like a sense of you, you could could pull back from here but that does not mean i am shorting it <laughs> uh because uh, you know i'm not i'm not shorting this right now but um for me i would short if we come back into the range with an increase in bear volume and a close that for me would equal a short but you know shorting here um is, is not a trade i'm willing to take at the moment i'm i'm happy to be in my long position and um you know if we continue to move up from here i've looked i've got nine one you know just before this really but around nine one fifty region nine nine five thousand region um nine five thousand nine thousand five hundred region nine thousand one hundred and fifty region you know um as, as next areas of resistance, okay? Uh, in terms of support, if we do come back into here, you know, I would, you know, I would close out my long and enter a short if we come back in on, on increasing bear volume. That's key for me. Um, you know, kind of like a swing failure pattern here on a higher term time frame, okay? And if you get that higher term time frame swing failure, then really you'd be, you know, you're firstly looking at 8750 because 8750 is still support. 8750, 8730 is still support. Um, you know, so you could t take the quick scalp down to there. But if things start getting, you know, very bearish, which, you know, you have to be prepared for all scenarios. If things do start getting very bearish with, you know, a, a big, you know, a, a lot of follow through, then really you'd be looking down to 8500, 8200, 8300 8, still, okay? For like bearish scenarios. Scenarios. Um, but yeah, uh, this was just a really quick video just to show you how, how like recognizing the signs, don't follow the crowd because I can almost guarantee no one else would have posted this, this reaccumulation pattern. So you want to not do what the, what the general public's doing, not do what average Joe is sort of doing, you know, really look into the charts, do your own technical analysis and just like find these hidden sort of gems on the chart, because that really was a hidden gem, which led me to, um, deciding to, to rebuy and, you know, whether I'm right or wrong, whether this goes higher or lower, at the end of the day, I've still made money. So whether I'm right or wrong, I made money and that's all I care about. <laughs> so uh, it's been a very good day indeed, I think. And, uh, you know, reading some of the comments here, like this guy made a month's salary in the last two days of trading. You know, I have to say that the group's going very well. <laughs> uh, people like learning. This is another one. A little bit off topic from technical analysis but you know these sort of comments like this is just like for me this is why i'm doing this this is totally why i am like a mentor on top of a trader right now because for me it's so rewarding you know at the end of the day I, right now in my position though you know it's not so it's not really about the money in trading i'm trading because i absolutely love it but um yeah on top of that to to like have the warmth and like happiness that i can like provide people is just like it's 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 better than winning trades. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's absolutely lovely. So to like read comments like that, to read comments like this is just for me, 
the best right now. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm really 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 happy, really really positive. Um, uh, going back to technical analysis, I think all you need to be aware of, okay. So you, a few things that you want to be aware of. If we pull back, how how much bear volume do you pull back on? Is it an increase in bear volume, an increase in bearish delta? Uh, and on, on the flip side, if, if you manage to maintain this range, okay, then, you know, you've you got, you got to trade it up for higher levels. Uh, but, you know, I am ready for a short if the opportunity is presented. I'm not trying to time the high, so I'm not going to short outside of the range just because, you know, I have no interest in trying to time the absolute high. But as soon as I get a, a weakness, okay, really coming back into the range, you know, I'm, I'm more than happy to short this and close out the long. But it's just like right now at this exact price, I, I don't have that on the chart yet, okay? All you've done so far is break out, back testing, you know, you know, we are getting lower highs here. So, you know, I'm, I'm on, you know, I'm careful here. I'm not getting euphoric, but, um, yeah, at the moment, as I speak, you know, this can change like this, but at the moment, it's looking okay, okay? So, uh, you know, that's how I'm trading it, staying a little bit on edge, ultimately looking for higher prices, but aware that the psychological 9,000 is holding us down, but at the moment, until we come back into the range, all is good, all is very, very good indeed. So, uh, um, thank you once again for watching this video. I hope that it's been helpful for you. Um, you know, um, yeah, I think that's all I'd like to, to really go over in this video thus far. Hope that it's been helpful. I uh, hope that you could have um, go, go back to my tweet here. I love it. When I follow no one on Twitter, I can just see my own stuff. But yeah, hope that hopefully that was uh, helpful for you and me identifying that one if, if you just follow on Twitter. But um, yeah, thank you once again, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.